Okay, this is a video to look at the ways of seeing your feedback from your teacher in a form assignment. So first off, let's open the assignments part and here there's a form being attached to the assignment and you click on that and it will open it in Microsoft Forms and you can complete the answers. Okay, so you would type in your answers to the questions. Um, these were put in earlier, which is why they're already seen from there. Okay, then you click Submit. Okay, so having clicked Submit, there is some immediate feedback that you can get about how you've done by clicking on the View Results option. You can see whether the question is right, and underneath the question, your teacher may have put a message if you chose that particular answer saying why it was the right answer. Okay, so you would see some information under here. You'll see for question two that this one has been marked incorrectly and underneath there for this type of short response is the correct answer. Now you can see in this case the pupil has put yes we can, the correct answer is yes. Your teacher will be able to change this for you as we'll see later. So you can look at that and say well it's marked automatically wrong but actually I've got the right answer. And then for the last question, because it's a longer response question, then in this case, you uh, don't see any feedback upon it because the teacher needs to check whether that is correct. So that is the first part of the instant feedback that you can get if you go back to the page. So if you go back, you can view the results and have a look at that. If you've closed the form, it then tells you that it's been submitted and it's been hanged, handed in by that. If you then go to click it again, what you'll see is that it'll tell you that you've already made the response and you're not allowed to look at it again. Okay, so you've completed your forms assignment. It's been sent to the teacher. How do you know what mark you get in the end and what other feedback you might get? So to do that, you go to the grades menu at the top here. If you click on that, if the assignment has been returned to you, it will appear here. If it hasn't been returned to you, then this screen will be completely, utterly blank. And then to look at the detail, you can see, so you can see it's been returned. Now you can't do anything on this screen here. So instead, now you can go back to the assignment and you can look at the completed one and we can click on there or we could go back to the view assignment in the general channel okay and now we see we've got some more feedback we see we've got some feedback at the top of the page here from the teacher okay and this particular one says click the form again to see the detailed feedback your teacher might not be writing this in but what they mean is if you go back on here it opens up the details and now it gives you all that feedback. So the feedback is right at the top. That's what you could see when it was closed, but you can also see the feedback for each question for the responses that you could see just after you submitted it and extra information from your teacher down the bottom here. So you can see here that even though it's been marked as a cross, you've actually got a point and you've got it correct there. And your teacher said this is a really good detailed part there. Okay, so when you have submitted a forms quiz for your assignments, you can have a look at the grades part to see what marks you get at the end and whether it's been returned to you or not. If it has been returned, then you can look at the feedback. And you can do that by clicking on the assignments that are completed, click on the information, some initial feedback here, but also there may be additional information within here that you should check and have a read off so you can learn what to do and how to improve. 